Topic 9, Lesson 2, Estimating Quotients. Well, so far you know how to use patterns to divide numbers that are multiples of 10. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to estimate quotients when the number is not a multiple of 10. Our standards, uh, we're going to find whole numbers, quotients, and remainders with up to four-digit dividends and one-digit divisors using strategies based on place value and the properties of operations and or the relationship between multiplication and division. Illustrate and explain the calculation by using equations, rectangular arrays, and or area models. Our mathematical practices, we're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. We're going to look for and make use of structure and look for and express regularity in repeated reasoning. Our focus is when and how do you estimate quotients to solve problems? Let's take a look. Let's say we have three friends that go to a video arcade and win 243 tickets all together. They decide to split the tickets equally. About how many will each friend get? How many tickets will each friend get? So again, we have three friends here. And they win 243 tickets tickets all together and they decide to go ahead and just split it equally. So how many are each of them going to get? Let's take a look. So we have 243 divided by 3 because they started with that number they want to split it equally and so that becomes a big question mark. What does each friend get? Well since they asked us to say about, and there's the key word right there, about how many will each friend get, we don't actually have to solve the problem precisely. We can actually estimate. So really, 243 is rounded to 240, and that's where we get this number. So in other words, 240 divided by 3. And this becomes much simpler, especially if you look at, if you know what 24 divided by divided by 3 is 8. So each of them will have 8, but since there's a 0, we're going to have a 0 right here in each of the one of these. So in other words, 240 divided by 3 is 80. Now if I went too fast, again I took a simple problem, 24 divided by 3, which I know is 8, and I just put an 8 in each one of these boxes, because I know that it goes, each friend would get 8. But really, since it's 240, we know that there's actually, it's a larger number, so we actually have to add the tens to it, an extra zero to each one. So, 80 plus 80 plus 80 is 240. So, since 243 is about, again, that's a key word, about 240, we know that 240 divided by 3 is 80. All right. Well, now try some on your own. Good luck.